Okay, so let's look at the logic expression y equals a and b and c. So if I'm going to join those and I'm just using two input AND gates, I'm going to have to join first one group, right? And then I'm going to have to join that piece with the second one. All right, so if we're doing that as a two input, it would look like this. We need to have one AND gate and then another AND gate. We would have two coming into here. Really doesn't matter which two it is, A and B. And then from there, we have that coming in. Then we'd have another input coming in, and that would be C. And this would be our output. The other choice is, which we do actually have, is a chip called a NTTL7411. And that is a three input AND gate. So you could actually do it this way. A and B and C. And this would be your output Y. On the pinout diagrams I've provided you in class, you should have um, that pinout available. The thing I want you to notice about this is that when you have uh, a three input AND gate, you can't leave, if you only need a two, you can't leave one of them open. Because if you only needed to make, say for instance, I'll show you here, if you needed to make um, A and B, and you already had a three input AND gate there, so you put A into one, you put B into one, and then you didn't put anything in here, this output is always going to be zero because you may get A and B to be tr true, but you're not putting anything in that place, right? So that's just a warning about the 7411, which is a three input AND gate. All right, so now let's go back and look at a the expression A or B or C, okay? And so that's going to be one OR gate here, and then you're going to take that and combine it this and this. And again, it doesn't matter what order you do that in, so I'll show you in a different order then, all right? So we're gonna need two OR gates, all right? And I could put A in here and C in here and then I would have A or C coming out. Now I can take B in to the other side of that one and I've made, if I write it in the same order, A or C or B, but that's the same as A or B or C. All right. So let's go back to just a slightly more complicated one now. If I have A and B and C or A and not B and C, okay? So I got some AND gates here, circle them in red, all right? And I have an OR gate, I'll circle it in blue. And then of course in the not B, I had a not gate, all right? So let me erase that so I can rewrite it so you can see it. All right, I have A and B and C or A and not B and C. All right, so let's make that, and this time let's go ahead and use three input AND gates. That'll make it a little easier. So I have A and B and C coming into that, and I'm going to label those A, B, C. And now I need to make A and not B and C, all right? So I need another three input OR gate, all right? And um, I've got to make a not B, so I'm going to take the B off, all right? I'm going to run it through a not gate and run it in. I need to take A in as well, so I'm going to run it around from here. 
and then I'll have C coming in as well. All right, so I've got to take those outputs and combine them. So I'll do that, try to do it here so you can see it a little more clearly. And those need to go into an OR gate. All right, and that would give us our output Y.